Spider-Man Homecoming Virtual Reality Experience, as the name says, is just a virtual reality experience, not a game. You can finish it in less than 10 minutes. The whole experience consists of some quick target practice. You first train to calibrate your web shooters, then you jump on a crane, shoot vulture, and patch a crane with webs. That's it. That's the game. It's more of a tech demo. I will say a cool one, but having almost 1 gigabyte occupy space on your PS4 just for 5 minutes of VR target practice isn't worth keeping. You can try it one day if you're bored and want to play something on your VR, but just know that it isn't a game, it's a demo. Spider-Man Far From Home Virtual Reality is another VR experience, this time it's a longer one, taking you around 20 minutes max to see what the game offers. But the whole game looks like it's a fan-made game made in Unity. It looks very basic, and it's disappointing to see how empty the streets are. On PC at least you get cars, but on the PS4 you barely see any cars on the streets. New York is a ghost town. Anyway, maybe the PS4 can't handle the graphics while in VR, and that's why the cars disappeared. It's still nice that you get free room. You don't get a very large area to free room in, in spite what it looks like, you can reach one of the barriers fairly easy. As for the story, you actually just get a tutorial level and a level where you incapacitate a giant robot. That's the campaign in the game. It's nice that you can unlock multiple costumes and that while in free roam you can do challenges like time trials, still the game feels like it's still in beta. It's a nice experience if you have a VR headset. Also I have to warn you with something, I usually don't get motion sickness, I think I never did, but with this game I experienced it, I think for the first time. Going in a pendulum while standing up straight confused my brain. My inner ear said that I was standing while my eyes were telling my brain that I'm swinging. It was weird and I got motion sickness. But still the game is great. I mean the 3D in VR headsets is impressive and it's a nice experience overall. And if you're bored and want to just play something on your VR, you can try this one. It's fun.